So guys, today we're out here at Lake Palestine again. We're working on these um, these staging crappie. Uh, got some trees out in here. Uh, this is very close to where I was the other day with Eli, just on the other side of the lake. Hoping the wind's gonna, gonna help out today. It's supposed to not get more than seven, eight miles an hour. We'll see if that happens. But um, we're gonna try to catch these uh, big girls. Hopefully they're back in here. Look at the water temperature. Okay, the water temperature is up to 60 now. They were at 55 when I was here, I guess four days ago, three days ago with Levi. So temperature is definitely rising. It's a little chilly this morning, but it's supposed to be in the 70s to 80s when this is all over with. So we we'll are using an ACC, 12 foot ACC crappie stick. Right now I'm gonna start off, because this has been a hot ticket, I'm gonna start off with the uh, bonehead stump bug and just kind of explain this again. I, I still have a lot of people asking me, I know I explain a lot, but probably not watching other videos. Let me get a little closer. I am using a new camera today, so hopefully everything will work. Um, went back to the GoPros. So uh, got a Hero <coughs> Hero 11 on there and I'm getting rid of DJI's. So uh, just been having issues and we'll see what happens. But basically I have a slip uh, or a uh, bell weight. We got a uh, swivel on there. Then I got about a, about a two foot leader with a jig. And the reason is because number one, I get to see two different things when I'm looking on a live scope. Uh, versus one so there I got two things moving up and down um, also these fish love unpainted heads that's why I use an unpainted head on here if you can see that um, they just they love them so that's where I'm going with it today and we'll see what happens start off with a little thump gel and we're gonna find us some fish Wow, that sun is bright, guys. Um, as we do with every show, I want to start off with a prayer and uh, just uh, thank God. Lord God, we thank you for today. Uh, thank you for your many blessings, Lord God. Pray for uh, anybody watching right now. There's a big bass tournament on. I pray that you'll help them, keep them safe, Lord God. I pray for any viewers that are watching, that you'll help them to have a wonderful day as well and a, uh, a healing if uh, that's what's needed. Help them to trust in you, Lord God, to give their faith. Uh, put it 100% in you, and uh, yeah, we love you, Lord God. It's in the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, let's get into some fishing. Guys, I got my uh, uh, phone working finally on Active Captain. So if you remember, I was having a hard time with it. We kind of shut, up, shut off. It would connect for a little bit, shut off, and it wouldn't connect again. So uh, one of the things that I figured out to do, I'll show you right now. So basically what you do is I'm hit re uh, record there. All right, so I'm gonna go into settings. Now this works on the GPS models for sure. Uh, communications, wireless devices. No, I'm sorry, well, back. Uh, Wi-Fi network, then go to advanced. And uh, right here, you'll notice channel. There's a channel and it was set to six for me. I just changed it to five and exited out and presto, my phone lights up on it. So that's what we're doing i had a guy yesterday make a comment on my thump gel post and uh he basically chewed me out for it and said uh prove that it works before i promote it i'm like well i'm not asking you to promote it i'm just asking you to try it i like this stuff it works great for me and it's about all i need there's one right there if i can get that close well, I guess I can't. Oh, there it is. Got him. Floated right into him. Dang it. All right, here we go. Good girl. Man. Come on. Whew, good girl. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look how fat this sucker is right now. My gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and keep just a couple of them for pictures. Then we'll release them back. 
big, big on conservation, guys. Um, if you just don't need to catch fish or to keep fish, just have fun catching them. You know, these big ones, I do think that at some point, you know, I had a biologist on and he said, we're not gonna outfish the place. And I agree with that, we're not gonna outfish it. But I do feel that the big ones will be um, few and far between if we're not throwing these things back. All right, you notice how, how close I'm getting these things. Um, reason is I'm just going slow to get in there. And uh, they're not as spooky today as they've been in the past, which is a good thing. I think I'm right on where there is a fish. But I can't tell. I think that is a fish. Uh, we're going backwards. Got him. He bit it when I wasn't looking. Oh, nice color. Mm. Very nice color. <coughs> Been put them in there for a picture. I'm gonna change this jig out. That's what I love about the bonehead jigs though, man. They will stay together for a long time. Catch a lot of fish with them. Got something. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a big mama right there. Whoo. Didn't even know I had her. I'm gonna weigh this one. 209. Mmm. Move that pole. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. Two pounds, nine ounces. For the fun of it, see how long it is. Mm. 16 inches, guys, look at that. Put her in there for a picture. Wow, that was fun. I, I didn't even see me get her. Got him. Not very big. This is fun, you know, people say live scope is cheating. And you know, it does help you find fish, but as you can tell, it, it does not make them catch you, or make them catch fish, make you catch fish. I'll say that back. So basically guys, I'm just having to kind of roll through these trees and look for something. They are a little more aggressive today, that's good. Something came off the bottom and got it, a little crappie. I figured that might be a bunch of black crappie, but it's a little white. back in, let's go back down there. Oh yeah, there's something there. Got it. Oh, and it got off when I was looking for the stupid Ah, uh, I wasn't prepared. I was trying to get the live scope going. But I think that's still him over there. Let me see if I can cast out to him. There may be a catfish there, though. Oh, heck. That's another catfish. I saw it right, right when I got down. Oh, it's a, never mind. Thought it was, big old drum. Well, these suckers are ugly, aren't they? Ugh. 
I hate that feeling too. He's way up in there. Gosh, there he is. So it was a big catfish. I don't want him. All right, so we guys, we definitely have some fish on this. Can we get him to bite? It's a different story. Just drop down right there. A little back, a little back too far. That was a good fish right there. I just don't know where it is now. I'm not even in the water. There we are. Getting right down on that guy. Yeah. She almost jerked that thing out of my hand. A nice big old crappie. Whew. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> my gosh, I was holding one hand, the thing almost jerked me out. Oh, guys, look at this. So this is what's happening right now, spawning crappie. They're up here in the staging area. Um, they're very sporadic right now. I'm catching a bunch on these uh, compacted trees, kind of like this one that you see on the screen, but single trees are just not there yet. So guys, we caught some good fish today. Go ahead and close this show down. So basically what I did was I kind of did what I did the other day, which was found the river channel, kind of went on the edge of it, uh, kind of went through it, Caught some good fish this morning, but they kind of shut off. Uh, now what I'm finding is a lot of catfish. So I'm wondering if they're kind of still out a little bit deeper water than 15. This is about the time they're in 15 foot, 12 to 15 foot. And they are some, uh, as you saw, I caught some, but they're just not loaded like normal. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and close this show down. Uh, may go ahead and head out to do a little deeper fishing, see what happens. If it's any good, I'll do a show there. So. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, think about hitting that like button, subscribe button, and uh, just become a part of the family, man. Know what I mean? Hit that bell to tell you when we have a new show, which is pretty much every Friday. So I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.